It was a dark Tuesday morning. The internet was out all across the United States. It was dark times indeed, my friends. Dark, dark times. The world seemed hopeless. But then, suddenly, up arose the network connection out from the ground. And once again, our hero, Lutz Magoots, ascended back into the streaming world on a fine Wednesday morning. How's everybody doing today? It's good to be back, my friends. Um, <clears throat> apologies for my internet issues yesterday. It was uh, a little frustrating. Um, it was kind of one of those where it's like, well, I can't stream, um, which is what I'd like to be doing. So maybe I, like, I don't know, work, but I couldn't even do that, you know? So, yeah. I love when evil sounding narrators talk about network connections. Well, I mean, they can only be evil, right? If there's if the network is down, they can only be evil, right? But <laughs> what an intro by the demon. <laughs> What's everybody doing today? Um, <clears throat> yeah, it was a frustrating day yesterday. I don't know when when I felt confident in our network uh, sometime, probably around 1030 or so. Uh, pretty much the entire time I would have been streaming. Uh, <clears throat> so it finally came back up, uh, was able to get to work and, uh, yeah, was able to work most of the, most of my normal time. Um, but yeah, it's been busy lately at work. So, uh, I want to say congrats to Coleman on being first. Congrats to you, Coleman. Uh, <laughs> Iron says, darn you. Morning to you both. Morning to you, Octi. Hello, hello. Good morning to you, DJ. Hope you've been doing well, my friend. All you amazing guilty folks. How's it hanging? Happy to be home. I survived my work trip to the armpit of Ontario. <laughs> I uh, I don't know what the armpit of Ontario is, but uh, I I can only imagine. That's a very nice visual. So. Uh, yet J, a DJ's older and slightly less handsome older brother. Older older brother. Turns out they're one and the same. Like in one of this bad eighty soap operas. My actual name is DJ. <laughs> What's going on, Steph? What's up? Oh my gosh, what's up? I haven't uh, heard that in a while, but. Out walking Lola, but couldn't ignore the Nodi. Uh, this is a great walking theme song. I'm stride, nice. Glad to hear that. Glad to hear that. Getting the getting the walk on. So I've been saying song gets you going. Morning to you, Charles. Morning, morning. That VIP badge suits you, my friend. Dog walking mission, yes. Very serious business. Very serious business. How are you all doing today? <laughs> hey, doctor. <laughs> I deserve that. <laughs> I see. I, I told Octi this. I, I my brain does not work in that way. So when you posted that, I it never even occurred to me. Oh, I should look for this guy's phone number. So. I don't know. I, I don't blame you, DJ. I don't blame you. But. What's going on, Karaki? Hello. Hello. Morning to you. Uh, Sorbo alive and kicking. The Docs dude sent me another message this morning. Thank you for the kind words. That's nice. There you go. You guys going to hang out later? Morning to you, crazy squirrel. Hello, hello. That was nice of him. Hello to you, true Celt. Hello there. Hello there. Spreading some love, right? Well, hello, gorgeous. Well, hello, beautiful. How you doing, Kirk? How's, uh, how's the day treating you thus far? Honestly, never thought about the phone number either. Yeah, I I don't know. I, I some people do that. Some people think like that. I mean, I guess we know Astica does. Um, but I uh, I never think to check that sort of stuff. I don't know. Um. <clears throat> so yeah, I mean, I'm sure you could probably send me. Uh, you could send me a screenshot of like you talking to like Beyonce or something like that. Um, and I probably wouldn't even realize that I, that you gave me Beyonce's number until probably like a couple hours later. Um, because I just don't, I don't think to check that. <laughs> I, I don't know. So, <clears throat> totally forgot that was on the internet. Yeah. Not everybody is well meaning. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Didn't either until Aska texted him. Yeah. Yeah. And thanks for, uh, thanks for shouting that out to, uh, Charles. We appreciate the, uh, the assist. 
off today, got coffee, internet's working, life is good. All those things sound good. Sound really good, my friend. Uh, what you got, uh, what, what you gave me playing some games today? I mean, I, the, I, I, the answer is yes, but what, so I guess my real question is, what are you playing today? One of the job interview results came back and they're offering me a job. Congrats, Karaki. Can we get some applause? Well done. Uh, I would be doing the same as I was in my previous job, but the pay is proper. Congrats on that though. Congrats. Um, when do you start? Is it pretty soon? Uh, ask us that nice words too, but there's always a butthole like me who might be having a bad day who might reach out to the guy and act like a butt. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. Um, although I'm not saying you're a butt. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if you'd reach out to that guy and be a butt or not, but you know, I don't think you're a butt. Good morning, Koro. Hello, friend. Hmm. <clears throat> So we had, uh, let's see, we had some appointments, we had some interviews. How did everybody else spend their day yesterday? Um, I feel sad I missed y'all. Um, yeah, mine was, I, I was, so my phone, uh, my phone is able to connect as a, like, we're on a, uh, a prepaid plan from T-Mobile, which by the way, if you feel like you've been paying too much for your phone bill, you might check your carrier to see if they offer any prepaid plans because um, we checked like our neighbor uh, used to work for T-Mobile and uh, <clears throat> he told us, he, he said, I can get you a good deal on uh, on a plan. And I mean, not even joking, we probably pay about half of what we used to pay um, for better overall like data, you know, uh, like this is an unlimited plan. Um, so you might check that out. So anyway, our um, our plan comes with unlimited data, which our old plan did not, or previous plan did, but it was uh, Google Fi, um, and they really messed up Mrs. Magoots's, uh phone line somehow. Uh, like her phone just didn't, she, she had to tr get a new number because her number got lost in their service. Like she all of a sudden stopped receiving calls and texts and everything. And we, we tried to fight with support for so long. She was without a phone for like a week or two. And uh, anyway, I don't recommend Google Fi. I don't know what it is, but they, they just could not figure out how to get her phone number back. Like it was lost in the nether. And so she had to get a new phone number after having the same one for like, I don't know, 10 years or more. So yeah, it was pretty obnoxious, but. Uh, mixed bag, Apex Arena, Story of Seasons, DBZ, Final Fantasy 14, whatever else tickles my fancy. That is a mixed bag indeed. Thanks a lot. Uh, well, I haven't said yes yet. I will wait for another job interview results, and then we'll decide which job to do. Oh, okay, okay. How many uh, How many different uh, interviews are we talking here, Karaki? <laughs> went on a little date to a greenhouse. Wait, you went on a little date to a greenhouse? Yesterday? Dang, okay. That's fancy. You're so fancy. I uh, went to the orthodox to see about surgery for carpal tunnel. Oh, no. Um, so I'm guessing all the like, uh, conservative treatment options haven't been working. Hopefully it, hopefully it gets better. Um, whether you have to have surgery or not, hopefully the outcome is good. You know, <laughs> tell me everything. I feel like you might pay too much for your phone bill. You might be in Canada. Is that right? Are Canada, uh, are you Canadians paying a lot for your phone bill? T-Mobile gang. T-Mobile, honestly, T-Mobile has been pretty okay. I've been pretty happy with it. Um, I don't think I have quite the same like uh, service that I had when I was on Verizon, but I'm definitely paying less. So that's good. Only regret is not picking up a plie. Wait, is that what, I, is that what it is? Otherwise I have no idea what that is. And it's not a plie, what is that? Uh, need to see the nerve doc next, see what the options are. Dang, okay. Still waiting for results from two more job interviews. There you go, okay. So he had the three, uh, three at a time there. Nice. That uh, that sounds a little wrong out of context, but so does everything I say. What are you doing, McDucky? Someone just had the same phone number forever and is currently on Google Fi. That terrifies me. Oh no, McDucky, you you might be fine though. Like I did the same thing. I've had the same phone for forever. Uh, same phone number, also phone. This is I've had this phone for four years now, but um, my phone number was fine. I transferred in and out of Google Fi, no problem. Um, we went from. We went from, was it from, straight from Verizon? Yeah, we went from Verizon to Google Fi. And I don't know what it was about Mrs. Magoots' phone in particular, but that one, like, 
That one, they, they messed up hers. Mine was fine. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't know if it's the fact that like my phone number was, my phone number actually originated with uh, at and It was actually singular back then. Um, it was a singular phone number. Then it went over to Verizon, then Google Fi, and now T-Mobile, and it's been fine. I've, n I've not had to change mine, so I don't know. You might be fine, though. Kind of gets bent right over when it comes to internet and mobile. Really? Uh, but I feel like some of you guys have been telling me that you have awesome internet for less money than I pay. For my, like, my internet is good. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to, com I'm not trying to say it's terrible, but it's just obnoxious the fact that, like, Comcast hasn't upgraded their offerings uh, in the seven years since I've been here. Uh, their download speeds have gotten better, I'll say that. And then they want to they wanna pat on the back every time they email you and say, hey, we've upgraded your download speeds for free. I'm like, I don't freaking care. My download speeds can do everything I need them to do. They have been ever since I've been here. What I need is upload speeds now. So, and they have not upgraded those in the seven years that I've been in this city. Uh, they've been at 25 the entire time, so. Brother-in-law had that surgery and feels much better now. That's good. Also, I'm worried about being out of work for a long time. Honestly, can't really use the mouse as it's my right hand. Dang. Okay. Yeah, that's tough. I think I missed some good phone age. If uh, it only supported 3G, it's possible she got deprecated when the switch 4G happened. No, it was a 4G phone. It was uh, her phone's actually newer than mine. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but as a general thing, I pick list 80 dollar reviews for unlimited 50 down, 10 up DSL. Yeah, that's not great. That's for sure. That is not great. Time to start working on your ambidexterity. Ambid ambidexterity? That's a funny word to say. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, okay. So, my phone plan, the prepaid plan. So, if you go to T-Mobile, like, the prepaid plan is basically, like, a downgraded version of their, of their like, regular plans that are more expensive. Um, if you have a mobile hotspot, like... If you have a mobile hotspot on like the regular plan, it's the same speed as your as your regular phone plan. So if you have a 4G phone, it'd be a 4G, you know, hotspot, whatever. The prepaid plans, they downgrade it to 3G. I don't know what's going to happen when 3G 3G is like done, done. But um, I don't know. Anyway, um, it turns into a 3G hotspot, which means things are very slow when they're connected to it. So I've used it before um, when I'm out and about, if I have to do some work um, like like during the cross country season, it was a really busy time for me at work. Um, and so I sent my cross country kids on their run and then I would go log in for work and work for like 30 minutes, you know? Um, and it's super slow doing that. Yesterday I did it and it was even slower than it normally is. And then all of a sudden, like shortly after I sent that last message to you guys in discord, it cut out entirely. So um, that was the only thing that I could get to work. Like my phone, I could call or text Calling when I, I I tried calling Mrs. Mag Mrs. Magoots just to test it out, it took probably 30 seconds. Like after I hit the button for it to actually start connecting to her, um, and then yeah, texting texting was fine. Texting was pretty much normal, but uh, everything else was was just out. I don't know. It was super freaking weird. Um, so I I don't know. Maybe T-Mobile is like leasing some towers from Comcast in my area. I'm not sure, but uh, it was definitely weird. Um, a little concerning, you know, that all of a sudden it was just like, okay, no internet, no phone. That's not good. So, so I know call that lawn order done, done. Wait, lawn order done, done. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, done, done. I read an article yesterday that said most carriers are dropping the support for 3G in the next few months. Yes. Yeah. I read that as well. Uh, T-Mobile's in that, so. Told hubby he would have to help me go to the bathroom. I was kidding, but he was horrified. It was funny. He told him he married me, so he signed up for it. That's pretty funny. Um, that reminds me of my dad when I was growing up. Uh, he told me something about... Uh, so I, I've told, I think I've told you guys this before. Um, my dad is a carpenter. He's been a carpenter for a very long time. He's in his 60s now, but he's been a carpenter since he was... I mean, well, younger than me, for sure. He's been doing carpentry work for probably about 40 years. Um, and, uh, he, he like told me, he's like, you know, you need to go to school. I'll do all this stuff. Cause you don't need to be working like me. I'm like, dad, there's nothing wrong with the way you work. You know? So anyway, uh, one of the things he told me was that I need to, I need to go to school, get a good job so that, um, I, I don't know, I guess he, he needs me. He said he wanted me to take care of him so that I could wipe his butt when he poops. 
and uh, and everything. And and uh, I was like, Dad, I'm not wiping your butt. Like, he's like, Well, don't you love me, son? I said, Dad, I love you so much. I will pay for somebody to wipe your butt. You know what I mean? Like, I will, I will have somebody do that for you. <laughs> so I don't know. I just, yeah, in sickness and health and in the bathroom, right? In sickness and in health. But anyway, I, 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 okay, here's, I would wipe my dad's butt, all right? My dad wiped my butt. I would wipe my dad's butt if it came down to it. I don't think that it's, you know, I don't think it's going to be a problem, but if it did, I would do that for my dad, all right? You said I should get a home health aid. <laughs> uh. Oh, my friends, we got some Outer Wilds to play. I actually already launched the game. Uh, my controller turned itself back off because it uh, thought I was taking too long. So, uh, the game was minimized, so we don't get to see the the Outer Wilds text expanding this time. <laughs> but there's people for that. <laughs> there are. There are. Um, but I'm just going to say I doubt people want to do that any more than I do. You know what I mean? I mean, so if I, what do I do? Do I go on Craigslist and just like look for a butt wiper or like LinkedIn? Am I checking people's LinkedIn resumes um, on like, oh, this person has 69 endorsements for butt wiping. Oh, they sound like a good individual. You know, like what, I mean, what am I doing? You know, like nobody wants to do that, right? So I think I just got to suck it up and, you know, like I said, it was done for me at one point in my life and maybe it will be again at some point, so. Now you're just being silly. <laughs> Christ, this will get you very, very, very different results. That's true. That's true. Um. <clears throat> either way, you know, I'm thinking, I'm thinking it'll be fine. It'll be fine. My dad's pretty healthy, so I mean, at least for now, he's still able to wipe his own butt. So, social care not a thing in the U.S. Uh, I mean, it, yes, it is. Um, it's just not affordable for most people, I would say. I mean, like, let's put it this way. So we have we have something called hospice. Um, that's not cheap. That's not cheap. Basically, uh, hosp so what we call hospice, you guys probably, you might call it something different. Um, hospice essentially where, like, I know that's that's something different as well, but, um, like, even hospice, just, just to bring somebody into their own home so they can die, that's very expensive, you know? Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm feeling like paying somebody to wipe my dad's butt is going to be a pretty big financial obligation. You know what I'm saying? So. <clears throat> Craigslist is so last year. We now use Facebook Marketplace. That's true. That's true. Then you can at least see a profile picture first, right? Out of context, I had to do it to him. Oh, great. <laughs> Invent an automatic one. Your dad's butt gets wiped and you make millions. Win, win. <laughs> Wait, so I sell it to my dad for millions of dollars? Is that the plan? Yeah, right, right. Yeah, OBS, right. Yeah. U.S. healthcare is expensive. It is for sure. Hospice equals end of life care. Yeah. Mom has butt wiping as part of her job description. It comes in her personal care. Really? Sell the patent. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't the bidet invented for butt wiping? That's fair. That's fair. <clears throat> Could just get my dad a bidet. Paid by the council, though, so doesn't earn much. Yeah, that's the thing. It's probably like. I don't know, just uh, I'm sure somebody here um, that, you know, that, that is in social work, like social work and that sort of stuff and, and care, like they don't get paid a ton, you know, like all that money goes elsewhere, which is crappy, right? But anyway, um, this has been a really crappy conversation. <laughs> um, let's play some Outer Wilds. What do y'all say? Um, game load, game load. There it is. I made a note for myself um, on where I've uh, I've been te uh, testing out these fires. So, um, <clears throat> to see what we can find this time. Is it going to go in the same? Man, those are so close. Sometimes the the probe. Bidet washes, you'll have to wipe your own butt. That's true. You do have to dry it off. Maybe we install like an air dryer in there too. Just to blow some hot air uh, up his butt. I mean, I feel like uh, that's been done. He's definitely done that to himself before. You know what I'm talking about? Like, you what are you full of hot air? That sort of thing. 
I don't mean, uh, I don't mean actually literally. That's more of the, uh, figurative. <clears throat> Starlit Cove? What is this? Wait a minute. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, I have been there. Okay, okay. Excluded village nestled within a cove. A candlelit tower sits atop a nearby island. The well at the bottom of the village is guarded by a statue that activates an alarm bell when it sees me. Yeah. Gotta figure that part out. Haven't quite solved that mystery yet. Uh, there's more to explore in both the reservoir and the river lowlands. Interesting. Hey, what's going on, Le Shu? How are you doing today? You said the magic words. Hello there. You get that. Group of adults making poop jokes. Are we on the internet? <laughs> About a half hour but I'm here? Sounds good. Sounds good. Oh, I forgot to mark the thing. Forgot to mark the thing. Let's go ahead and mark it. Yeah. All right. So we're going to the lowlands. So I think I'm actually going to go into the regular like uh, hangar dock. Hangar, hangar bay. Hangar bay? Yeah. Why does that sound so weird? It's not a hangar dock. I'm going to go into the regular area this time and we'll see how that goes for us. Um... There we go. Man, okay. I was worried about being a little rusty, but that's like one of the best landings I've done. All right. So now the question becomes, do I go over there? There's another uh, another entrance into the, uh, the old stranger, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and go this way. This is where I want to be, I think. Alrighty. So I'm going into that building right there. That's my plan, at least. How are you doing, Trip Chance? Another hello there. Hello there. What are you doing today? How's life been treating you? Hope you're having a nice day. I am. Hope you are. I have to admit I am now in love with a girl named Tom and their harmony. If you like pentatonics, check out the YouTube link in the Discord. Yeah, I haven't watched that yet. I need to, though. Uh, the other entrance in the stranger. We still talk about butts. It is kind of confusing, isn't it, DJ? It is kind of confusing. I'll be the first to admit that. Uh, this game is pretty innocent. And then it goes out and calls, like, uh... Calls a large ship the stranger. It's, you know. <laughs> Alright, there we are. We need to get our uh, our device. I remember... Did I find one here? I'm sure I did. I remember exactly where. It's probably over here. Probably somewhere in this room over here. It's been a while since I've... Uh, I haven't really explored this area quite as much as some of the others. Let's see. Maybe it wasn't in here. Yeah, I don't see one. Hmm. Oh, they have the first time you visit the stranger, you go into the side where the sun don't shine. <laughs> too true, too true. This area is re reminiscent of Rift. Rift? There's a lantern that I remember I carried a lantern around uh, for a little while that didn't do anything. Hmm. Am I going to have to come back here? I know where to get one that's pretty close. You're going to have to come back here. I don't know if I can go... Can I go that way from... I don't know if I can or not. No! Uh-oh. I wonder if I can get up there, but... <laughs> Oedipus Joe who? 
Wait, hang on a second. I found the funniest Joe Mama joke meme yesterday. Fortune teller, you're going to marry Joe. Joe who? <laughs> joke Mama. <laughs> Joe Mama. Ah! I'm trying to get up here to see if I can make it over the other side of the reservoir. I don't know if there's a closer one or not, but... I'm gonna try to... Go for it. Hmm. Oh, I'm not climbing up that. I'm not climbing up that. What is this building, though? I think I've been here one other time. Is this the other entrance from the other side? I think it is. Yeah, I think it's from the other side. Okay. So, I need to figure out how the heck I'm going to get all the way up there. I don't know that I can. Rift is an old, uh, late 90s game. It was revolutionary for its time. It was a great puzzle game. Okay. I say, I don't think I was familiar with that. I don't think so. Rift. Made me think of, uh, what, Raft? And I was like, oh, I need to play that. I still have that one on my list. I've not done it. Hmm. Well, crap. I didn't really think this through, did I? All right, I got an idea. Uh, probably... Well, crap. No. We'll go this way. I probably already messed this up. If so, I'll just meditate, but... <clears throat> Monday night, I finally started a new playthrough of Andromeda. Really? How's, uh, how's it going thus far? Oh, that was a loud splash really think it hit the water that hard um it's funny i actually have been get, kind of getting the itch to play as well um or at least i did i haven't really in a little while but uh, hopefully it's going okay thus far i i i haven't played since the release that's kind of the thing it's a good thing i can kind of travel backwards here Wait, really? I didn't... Didn't open the door for me right there. Picky. Picky door this time. Oedipus is a Greek fictional guy who accidentally kills his father and marries his mother, so that joke was really on point. No, I, I, I'm I, familiar with Oedipus. The old Oedipus complex. The lichen, it's got such good visuals that it does. That it does. I don't. I don't know. Uh, I don't know that anybody could have could have uh, disagreed with that. At least in my mind. Uh, if they did, they're kind of silly. Okay, we're gonna try this. I think that this will work. Kind of going off some memory here. Feeling that itch for a while uh, too, but could never convince myself to. Honestly, like the characters more than a lot of the original trilogies. The human characters. The human characters. Interesting. Okay. I'm trying to think of which characters I like the most in that game. It's been a while. The, the characters really are good, though. I think. Never pulled a trigger on Andromeda after reading the reviews. Um, so, it's my, it's my belief that uh, Andromeda is... Oh, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't have come this way. Now I'm remembering things. Uh, maybe there's an artifact over there, though? Okay, I'm kind of running out of time here. Yeah, this is just going to be a refresher run, it seems like. Okay. Can I get back up here if I go on this? I haven't gone on this side since, like, one of the first, very first loops I did. Um, but it's my firm belief that Andromeda is the worst Mass Effect game. Uh, but that's not really saying much in my opinion, because like I thoroughly enjoyed the others, you know, like I enjoyed the heck out of the other games. So to me, that's not really saying that much. You know, when people are like, oh, it's the worst Mass Effect game. Like, okay, who cares? Like, they're great. So I don't know. Two parts where they bring out the Tempest. Love that ship. 
The Tempest is actually pretty pretty solid. Reviews are never reliable nowadays. They're just a lot of whiners. A lot of whiners. People like to complain just to complain, that's for sure. Alright, there's a well-lit lantern there. So obviously I know I can get are there really this few artifacts in the in this area? I guess so. I, I was thinking that there were more that maybe I just hadn't seen, but I don't think I've seen any. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm just going to have to go ahead and uh, we're going to have to go ahead and take the L on this one. I think um, I'll have to go back in through that other shortcut and I'll, I'll just, guess I'll just raft my way down here and into the lowlands. That's what I'll do. Man. Most of my crapping on it is memeing. Yeah. Now I have to post my favorite review in the Discord. Uh oh. I let down by Mass Effect 3 and figured I'd wait to see what others thought. Metacritic reviews just never were glowing enough. Honestly, don't know how I'd rank the games. No, Mass Effect 2 is number one. Yeah, I agreed on Mass Effect 2. Uh, it's tough, though. Man, I have a hard time saying Mass Effect 1 is not my favorite. Um, man, this... Okay, this probe keeps kind of coming a little close. It's two in a row there. Um, Mass Effect 1 was just really good, you guys. And it's hard because there are things that, that bring it down. But if you could somehow combine Mass Effect 1 and 2, like the best parts of each, I think you'd have maybe the best game ever made. Um, Mass Effect 1 was cool because it had the, the old school Bioware like exploration element. Like... Yeah, you could land on a planet and you could just go wherever you want, like on that planet, at least, you know, within a certain landing area. Um, but most of what you would see out there is nothingness, which is kind of cool. It just like created this very lonely atmosphere. Um, and the Mako was obviously not great, but it was it was like a it was the right amount of weird at the time, if that makes sense. Like the Mako was pretty dang weird, but it was the right amount of weird. Does that does that make any sense at all? All right. Uh, but yeah, then you add in the uh, the storyline. The story. I mean, I don't know. The storyline of two was good, but it was so standalone. Probably didn't learn anything, did I? Oh heck no! I didn't do anything there. The story in two was just so standalone. It was really, really good. But the storyline in one. Oh my gosh. The Reapers are just so dang mysterious. Like I don't know. It's tough. It's tough for me to say. Uh, also, I think the best lines in the game are, are in the first game. Um, like, everything Sovereign says is freaking just amazing. Every single thing he says is amazing. But especially when you encounter him uh, on uh, on Vermeer, just levels of epicness unseen in other games. So... <clears throat> Might be an artifact in the first area. Did you check all the buildings? I felt like I did, but I, it's very possible I missed something, Karaki. It's extremely possible. Uh, I'd see say Andromeda was the worst from a personal standpoint, but a lot of that came from all the hype falling short after all the work and wonder that went in the original trilogy. Yeah, I agree. I def say, yeah. I don't disagree. You have to play Mass Effect. It's just a lot to get into. I'm sure I will enjoy it. If you like space, uh, whew. You are in for a treat. It is a rather, uh, rather amazing series in my mind. Can you explain to me why Mass Effect 1 is so good? I've tried to start it probably six different times. I usually get about 10, six to 10 hours in and just lose interest. Want to get into it, but I just struggle. Yeah, Mass Effect 1. So uh, I will say this, probably something that helps me out is I played it back in 2007 when it released. <laughs> I'm sure that's a big help right there. Um, but it's mainly story. The, the I, I understand the mechanics of it are bad. Uh, they're very dated. The game did not age well in that regard. Um, <clears throat> but it's more about the storyline, the epicness, 
Um, you know, and the combat isn't bad, bad. It's just not good in my mind. Um, and the other thing is, it is it is tough if you if you do not uh, give it its uh, due diligence in terms of, um, uh, like giving the the storyline some time, like so that you because it's it's gonna it's gonna hit you with the book, you know, right off the beginning there. About here's all the lore you need to know, right, and then some. Um, if you don't give it some time to kind of sink in, it does get a little dense. That's for sure. So. Um, here it is. All right. Well, I don't know if I did this the hard way, but, uh, I am here with an artifact for a change. So I don't think I would put Andromeda last personally. I got very into the story and there was a lot of great plots that aren't going to develop fully now that they likely won't make a second Andromeda game. Yeah, I don't know. I there. I mean, there's just so much potential there. It sucks. It hurts, you know. Uh, I have not played Astroneer, actually, Koro. I haven't. Can you just answer my question? I may not be into it. Could be, yeah, for sure. You would rank it Mass Effect Two, Mass Effect One, Andromeda, Mass Effect Three. Interesting. Okay. So is it just is it just the finale portion of uh, Mass Effect Three for you, Coleman? Or because the thing is, I like. When I, when I, uh, obviously I, I was not super satisfied with the, uh, the ending of the game, but when I went back and I thought about how much, uh, how much fun I was enjoying, like how much, how much I was enjoying the game before, uh, the ending, I, I have a hard time putting that one last, you know, I don't know. I have a hard time saying it was a bad game. Um, yes, there were definitely disappointing elements. Where, where was I? I don't know. Did I find this place before? I was floating down the river. Second like Andromeda to flesh out the world building and stuff, uh, for that branch of Mass Effect would ramp up the first one's ranking, I think. Yeah, it definitely, you, you can tell it's not a complete game. And that's, I think that's out of the thing. I wonder if it'll be one of those things where it is looked back on with sort of a, uh, like a cult-like following. You know, I wonder if it'll be one of those games in the next like 10 years or so, because it's not really old enough for that yet. I don't feel like. Um, but I think of a game that I played, you know, within the last like year and a half, which was Vampire uh, the Masquerade uh, Bloodlines. Um, that game was not well received to my understanding. I never played it when it first came out, but. Uh, it was not super well received when it first released. Uh, at least that was my understanding. Um, but it still has a very like like beloved community. You know what I mean? Like there's a community that just absolutely adores it still. Um, after all this time, and and that was a very clearly a non finished game too when it released. You know what I mean? So, I wrong. Love Mass Effect Three, but yeah, I don't know. Just like having something new yet familiar. Fair enough. Fair enough. Two one th uh, a three Coleman says. Yeah, I think I would probably go uh, two one. I, honestly, I put two and one on the same tier. I put two and one on the same tier, kind of a one a one b kind of thing, and then uh, and then a small gap, and then uh, and then three, and then another small gap in Andromeda. All right, where the heck am I? This doesn't. None of this looks familiar. Although I'm gonna. Do something here. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. I like that. I don't know if I'll be able to get back here. I, I have no idea how I got here. <laughs> I really don't. Uh, um. Well, maybe I can get this done and I don't have to come back again. I don't know. And where this staircase was. Got to do work stuff. Sounds good. Sounds good, Coleman. Take care of business. It's going to mention Bloodlines? Yeah, for sure. Unfinished game, but has a uh, a very close-knit following. Whoa, 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 whoa. It, hang on. Can somebody clip that, if at all possible? Clip that for me? No, it... I, oh, he was walking around. I'm not crazy. <gasps> oh, my gosh. I could have swore... I was going to say, I saw um a stranger... I, I thought so. I'm not crazy. Oh my gosh. Okay. Woo. 
That's awesome. All right, now I got to figure out how to get over there. Um, and I did check. I am still a Timber Harthian. Uh, I'm still a Harthian. I wondered if maybe the reason why they ran away... Well, I wondered if they would stick around if I if they thought I was one of them, but I don't think they will, so... Uh, for me, the Elder Scrolls series is where I spent the most time in gaming. Oh, really? Which uh, which which game? Uh, let's do a ranking of those. How, how would you rank those, Karaki? Astrion is all about space exploration, but there's not really any stories. You can also play multiplayer, and it's pretty fun. Might be worth looking into even for a potential guild night game. How many people can you play with at a time? Oh, okay. It's got yeeted. I can get yeeted right back, though, so that's not a problem. Wait, is there something in the water here? Okay. Oh, look, is he standing out there or no? Okay. I don't know what that is. I'm mobile. I have messenger. No worries. No worries. My seeing ghosts. I might be. I'm pretty like confident though. I saw one. I saw a stranger, an Olk. I am really moving around though a lot. Uh, let's see. Nothing to teleport over there. Okay. Okay. That's, I believe that is where I... Oh, wait a minute. Maybe it's not. Oh, wait. No, I know that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's like a door. Yeah, that door right over there. I need to see if I can get over there. I was not able to be on that part of the island for whatever reason. Although, I imagine that area there is somewhere... Well, hang on a second. Is that where I came into this world at? It is just so dark over here. It's hard to even tell what's going on. Like, that's where you just came from. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. I need to... Exp maybe I need to explore that area a little better. Uh, there was a door over there. I remember when I was over there before. Um, have I... It's over here. Wait a minute. <gasps> a lantern! A lantern walking! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <gasps> Contact! Contact! Please, we're friends? No! Oh, he blew out my lantern. I thought he was going to eat me for a second. Wow, okay. Whew. That was kind of scary. I'm not going to lie. I might have pooped a little bit. I might have pooped just a little bit. Okay, so don't make contact with the strangers. They don't like it when you do that. Uh, I don't know there's a limit on Astroneer. At least 8 to 10. Really? Okay. Let's see. So Charles likes Oblivion, then Marwyn, then Skyrim. Let's find out. Is this where I came from? It is. Yeah, here's the stairway. Okay, so this door. Uh, oh, right. Okay, it doesn't have a way in. All right. That's good. So then I could teleport myself right back to where I was. Why don't we do that? Who's over here, though? Anything over here? So what are they looking for? I need them to not spot me. But I also need to find out what they're looking for over here. Uh, let's see. Marwind, Oblivion, Skyrim, I would say. Did not play the older ones. Gotcha. Okay. Oh. Am I about to be underwater? I think I am. Am I really already out of time? Yeah, for sure. Wow, that was so fast. So fast. Uh, hang on one second here. Um, oh, I guess I didn't miss any. Did I? So, but Astroneer's like a, a, it's a, it's like a crafting game, right? That's kind of what I, my understanding of it was, but not sure either. That Astroneer uh, looks really cute and it's kind of Valheim, but in space, minus the fighting aspects kind of. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too, actually. That's my impre impression of it. 
tried to play Daggerfall, but it just didn't run well on my, my machine. I've not played any past uh, or any prior to Morrowind. Yeah. Everyone have a wonderful day. I'm going to lurk and go work. Sounds good, True Kel. Appreciate you hanging out with us today. Intense. Yeah, poop it. Eight players in Astrid is really cool little exploration and crafting bigger and better items. Nice. Okay. Also enjoy your lurk, Lady Iron. Oh, that one went upwards, it looks like. Oh, that quantum moon be close. Hmm. All right. It's hard. Even though I've finished the base game of this game, I uh, I still... So cool to look at, you know? Still so nice to look at. Did I learn anything? Shrouded woodlands. Okay. A dense forest along the banks of a river. I heard music coming from a candlelit building across the water. I found a covered bridge leading to the darkest part of the forest. Where I got almost, I thought I was going to be eaten. Uh, let's see. Almost exactly right. Uh, the only thing you have to fight is some plants that get angry if you get too close. Okay. Quite fun to uh, explore and craft. I think it's still on Game Pass. I should check this out. Speaking of Valheim, I do want to get back into it because I want to be able to finish my build that I did. Um, uh, though that said, I know we've kind of cooled on Valheim quite a bit. Uh, I need to figure out what I'm going to do with the server still. Has anybody played on it in a while? I don't think I've logged in since the very beginning of October. So, oh, what's going on, friends? Enjoy this party, my friend. Enjoy it. From the window to the wall, to the wall. Took the meat spills out my hall. My hall. Oh, these black kings crawl, crawl. Oh, ski, 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 ski. Oh, ski, ski. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, ski, 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 ski. Oh, ski, ski. Oh, man. Oh, man. I actually realized, like, I don't mute my mic during that. So I could definitely sing along with past self. I could. I could. I don't know if you want me to, but I could. So, yes. <laughs> How you doing though today, friends? That's the first time I've seen that. Amazing. That's actually so since we were talking about Valheim, that actually was recorded during a Valheim playthrough. So, uh, or playthrough, play session, whatever you want to call it. So, yeah, it was a good time. It was a good time. Uh, although opportunity missed to say instead of uh, all these Vikings crawl, I should have said Skial. Um, I kind of blew that one. Okay, what was I doing again? Try to go back to the same place? Try to go back to the same place. Uh, I don't think it was this one here. Giant Sequoia, appreciate that follow, my new friend. Uh, I'm gonna give you a cheers here in just a second. Hope you're having a good day thus far. Oh, there we go. Hmm. Too bad. Could have been a lot worse on that landing, I think. Could have been a lot worse. Giant Sequoia, welcome in. Cheers to you. This one's for you, my new friend. Cheers. <laughs> I cannot. Fancy tree person. Oh, so fancy. Do I need to make a soundbite of that, too? I think I do, probably. You guys seem to bring up the word fancy a lot. I think it's a uh, subliminal messaging. That's become a uh, super liminal, if you will. Good, Lucy. Thinking of a third trade to screw over Brian. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. It, it, so, okay. So he messaged me, texted me yesterday, and was like, "He's like, hey, um, thinking of shopping Hertz. You interested?" And I was like, ah, "I'm interested, sure." And then he didn't, he didn't never responded. Just ghosted me. I'm like, okay, all right, pal. It's the second time this season he's done that. Not about Hertz, but just in general. So. Cheers. Appreciate that, Sequoia. I learned it from you, Lutz. Is that right? That's what I call my car. Really? Sequoia? <laughs> I guess there, there is a Sequoia model, isn't there? Sequoia. It's a fun word to say. 
just rolls off the tongue, you know? Oh, yeah, it's a Toyota. That's right. That's right. Toyota. I couldn't remember. I was trying to remember the uh, maker. 06 Toyota Sakura. It's a beast of a car. Nice. Very nice. I also drive an 06. 06s were built different, you know? All right. Let's go. Hopefully I can get back there a little quicker this time. I feel like I've done okay. Maybe I should just maybe I should just uh jump off here. Maybe this this lowering part takes too long. I could save myself at least 10 seconds if I jumped off and grab that platform over there. But I could do that. Actually, maybe it makes sense to not even go this way at all. No, I think it does. Never mind. That was stupid. Stupid idea. I think this is the best way to go still. All right. Okay, so now maybe what I could do... Probably not, though. Maybe I need to... Is there like a bridge or something I could restore? I feel like I've got to somehow learn how to connect these... Uh, these areas uh, because I've not really done that to this point. I've got to figure that out. Red offering hurts an ETN uh, and, and a lesser piece for Dak and Patterson. I keep forgetting he traded you Patterson. I keep forgetting that. Because he paid a pretty steep price to get him from me, you know? And I know you gave up Najee for him, so it's not like you, not like you got him for free or anything, but I keep forgetting. He just seems so interested in Patterson, I was surprised to see that he traded him away. Because that's how, I, I mean, he was part of the trade I got uh, Lamar in. I think it was Patterson and, and Cousins. Uh, and then some others where I got, uh, I think that was the same one. I could be wrong. Could be mixing up trades. I made two trades with him this year. Uh, no, um, Atlanta Falcons, Patterson, Cordero Patterson, our 30 year old breakout star. I think the thing is just nobody, nobody knew how to use him until Arthur Smith came along. That Arthur Smith is a, is an offensive guru. You know what I'm saying? Sort of. <laughs> sort of. He did pretty well with the Titans though. So, I mean, I... I'm I'm appreciative <clears throat> I'm appreciative of Arthur Smith. I'll say that. Also, the cool thing about Arthur Smith that not not a lot of people know about um, his dad. His dad is the founder of FedEx. So like, he could have just been he could have just done whatever he wanted. You know what I mean? But he's actually a really talented uh, football coach, and so he stuck with football, and that's what he did. Pretty cool. Um, but he could have done absolutely nothing for the rest of his life uh, and inherited a boatload of money. He decided not to. Um, told me I gave him an offer he couldn't refuse and then realized it was a huge mistake. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, Charles has the VIP badge. Did Point Redemption not go up? I missed some streams due to work. I actually brought the Point Redemption down, and I'll be keeping it where it's at right now. So at least for the foreseeable future. Uh, if we get to a point where, like, I I have too many VIP... I mean, I don't really have a... The main thing is I don't really have a VIP uh, system set up. Really, that is my VIP system. But if for some reason I get to a point where I'm overloaded on VIPs, which I'm not there yet... Um, then I'll try to figure something else out. Yeah, so that's what I saw last time. You see that? The Alk wandering over there at that building? That's what I saw. And I didn't realize you do not want them to find you. Did not know that. I gotta find out what that music is about, though. Oh, and DJ got VIP. All right. Hang on a second. Let me give, D uh, let me give DJ this VIP. Yoink. <laughs> Click. I had to ask about it first. I would have just claimed, my friend, but I would have just claimed. All right, it's all yours. Because uh, if any watching football team players besides McLaurin were on either of your rosters, you should just quit. I have McLaurin, actually. I have McLaurin. 
Uh, I've got some pretty solid receivers. I've got uh, McLaurin. So I got Scary Terry. I got uh, AJ Brown, who Derek was trying to get from me, by the way, Franz. Um, and I'm like, dude, I don't think you understand. Like, AJ Brown is my favorite fantasy player. I mean, I would have, I would have traded if he included Derrick Henry, but he wasn't, he was, he literally, every time I mentioned the name Derrick Henry in a chat with him, he just stopped responding. Like that's legit what he did. It's like, I said, okay, I'd be interested in, if you're trying to get Lamar, you're going to have to include either, you know, Derrick Henry or Dalvin Cook. And he just stopped responding. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, dude, which tries to bother me every time, but. But yet, when I mention somebody that's actually part of a fair trade, he's like, oh, not talking to you anymore, because you obviously know what you're doing. Obnoxious. So, congrats on it, DJ. Congrats. So, yeah, up to this point, uh, VIPs had been redeemed, or not redeemed, had been reserved for... <gasps> oh, almost fell in the water. Okay, this one's kind of coming close over here. All right. So I found out, though, you do not want these guys to find you, which is kind of interesting. Really thought they would have been more, I don't know, friendly is not really the right word. Definitely ex didn't expect them to want to attack me, though, or whatever. I think they're just very secretive. I, that's that's kind of what I'm getting here is they're secretive individuals and they, uh, they want to keep their home planet secret. Best way to salt the snail and get him to stop? Yeah, for sure. Just start mentioning a player he thinks is untouchable on his team. And it's like, dude, uh, so I'm not allowed to have any untouchable players, but you are, I guess? I, I don't know. Pretty pretty annoying, but... True capitalist form, I buy my way into the upper echelons. No, so what I was going to say is I, I wanted to have a channel point redemption because, again, like, if you've, if you've been hanging out and supporting me for a long time, like, you have to you have to be doing that for a long time to get 100,000 channel points, right? Um then I think you should be rewarded for that. Um, but I also wanted to make it make it something where uh, if somebody came along and they just really, and they haven't been along for too long, but they just really want to support me, you know, then you could do that on Kofi, right? But um, but other than that, the VIPs had just been people like some of my IRL friends, so. Uninvited guests in their dream world, strange they wouldn't offer you a drink and a snack. <laughs> well, you know what? The the Nomai, uh, you know, the Nomai seem pretty friendly. All right, is this? I the thing is, I have no idea where. I'm. Oh! I found something. I found something. Did he see me? Uh, please don't see me. Oh my gosh! Oh, Michelle, we're being very quiet. I'm just gonna pause. Woo! Cheers to you, Michelle. Appreciate that. Happy gaming. How you doing today? Cheers to you, Michelle. Appreciate that. What is that? Uh, six months? Dang. Okay, so you got a new badge unlocked. Enjoy the new badge color. Oh, hang on a second. I think you should probably conceal us a, a little bit longer. Where'd he go? Where'd that bridge go? Oh, here it is. Whew. Okay. Building. This is this this is a building. Uh oh. But I don't have a way to open it, okay. Uh nor do I have a way to open that building. Is this Is this all just a trap? What the heck is going on in here? I'm so confused. Let's see it. Uh oh. Did he open the door? He did it from the other side. Okay, there's a lantern over here. Maybe I can see if I can... Uh... Oh, shoot, I'm at the edge of this one. Wow, I am, it, like, extremely bad at exploring this area. I'm probably almost out of time again. I've got to be, right? Crap. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. 
I need to go back towards that house. Uh, or whatever it is. I don't know if house is the right word. I need to go towards that building that's playing the music. But how are you doing today, Dr. D? Good morning. Good morning. What's going on in Dr. D's world today? Where's that music coming from? Over there? This is... Oh, yep, yeah, there it goes. Out of time. Gosh, dang it. Just not enough time. Just not enough time. Oh, is this the creepy DLC? Doesn't look like the same game. It is, in fact, the creepy DLC. It's pretty creepy, right? Should have seen, uh, should have seen that. I don't know if you did catch that earlier. I got, I got caught earlier in uh, an area I wasn't supposed to be in. That was creepy. Also struggle with exploring this area in the dark, so don't feel too bad. I'll try not to. I'll try not to, but. Doing pretty well. Not much right now. Fair enough. Fair enough. Doing on time. Doing okay. I guess these, these mini, mini loops I'm doing are making it to where I, I can. Do several of them at least. But, uh, all makes sense by the end of the DLC. Let's see, did I learn anything else this time? See, it doesn't say anything about the shrouded woodlands. Um, I do need to go back to Starlit Cove. I mean, I need to figure there's gotta be something I haven't learned yet. Um like there's something I'm just not I've not learned. As far as, like, hiding myself from the alarm thingies. I gotta figure that out. Oh, there goes my my lock-on just disappeared again. Why does that happen? If I use the mouse, then it it's okay, but... I don't know. Kind of going in the same direction as the probe. Well, it's going even faster than we are right now. Alright. Let's try. I mean, I feel like I'm I'm in the most optimal pattern or path, I guess. Pattern is not really the right word. The optimal path for getting uh the artifact and and resting. If I just stop a little closer to this, that'll save myself some time. Oop. Yeah, I think I will try my other my other idea. I'm gonna grab the artifact, and as I get to the dam, I'm gonna jump off my boat. That's what I'm gonna do. I feel like a little bit of a speed runner when you do these. Uh, would you like a little nudge to save you some time? Um, if it is little, in fact, sure. Sure, I trust your I trust your judgment. I feel like you guys have been very fair to me. I trust your judgment. And it says I need to explore more in the reservoir as well. Um, did I? I did go back over there, right? Yeah, I did. I just did pretty recently. So there's got to be something else I've missed. Hmm. hmm. Make make sure to check all the buildings in the lowlands closely. Okay, okay. Yeah, one I probably haven't spent a whole lot of time investigating is the one with the uh, ghost matter around it. I'm going to see if this is faster. See if I can beat my boat down there. Oh, 100% faster. I didn't even have to take this boat if I didn't want to. Uh, did you find the film in the reservoir? I think so, J uh, Jufo. Jufo? Jufo? I think I did. I am I feel like I found just about all of the... I, think I found just about all of the uh, slideshows. I mean, I might not have. It's, it's very possible I missed one. 
Uh, but that was one thing I was trying my best to do was look for all, every single one of those. All right, so here's what I'll do then. Let's set this down. And also, welcome in. Welcome in, Jufo. Um, I'm going to set this down here. And maybe we'll do a little uh, little look-see. A little look-see. Closely inspect all of the lowland buildings. So I'll, maybe I'll start closest to... Uh, I know there's a building over there as well. I uh, see there's my boat. Granted, it's just coming down here with the current, but let me check this one again. It's been a little while. It's been a little bit. Uh, did I check underneath? Maybe I didn't. There is some ghost matter inside there. Oh, what's going on, Lores? How you doing? Lores Latte, welcome in, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Cheers. Cheers to you, Lores. So much, thank you so much for that raid. When somebody gets a chance, can we get a shout out for Lores, please? Cheers. Uh, and Mighty Mock, hello. Cheers to you, Mighty Mock. Appreciate that follow. <clears throat> uh, hello to you, Mellow Mayhem. Uh, Seaweed Shay. Hello, hello, hello. Also appreciate the, the host, Mellow. Cheers. I know Coleman had to get to work, so um, here, let me uh, let me give a little shout out real quick. Oh, oh, Coleman's back. All right. Coleman, <laughs> you want to give a shout out when you get a chance? I'm not trying to rush you back. I know you're, you're busy today. Um, <clears throat> we also got a follow from Seaweed Shea, so this one's for you. Cheers to you, Seaweed Shea. How you doing? What'd you, uh, when'd you end up playing today? Hi, hi. How you doing? Uh, let's see. Roranicus? Is that what that says? Roranicus? Uh, for Pondicus? <laughs> I hope I'm saying that right. It's actually, it looks like the, that's what it looks like. It's hard to read on my background, but. Hello. How was your uh, how was your stream? Welcome in, Autumn. How are you doing today? Playing some Sims 4. Very nice. Very nice. Yes, VIPs can't shout. Yeah, it's only it's a mod only command. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Play some Sims 4 attempting the baby challenge. Yeah. So fill me in on the baby challenge. What uh, I I'm a Sims. I, I'm a Sims 4 noob. All right. So I, I don't know what um, I know that there are like. Uh, uh, legacy or what do they call it? legacy generation challenges where you try to live through like was it 25 generations or something? I think uh, I talked with Tan about that, but uh, yeah. Um, so for those of you that are new, my name is Lutz Magoots. We're currently playing some Outer Wilds. It is a mystery puzzly type game um, set in outer space, and it has been a heck of a lot of fun. If you enjoy um, exploration, um, trying to solve some puzzles. Um, I can't recommend it enough. I really can't. It's been a lot of fun. We're currently playing the DLC. So, uh, finished the base game a little bit ago. The DLC is, uh, fairly new though. And we're playing through that. So she was great and chaotic in the best way. Nice. Need to have hundred babies from different. Oh my gosh. From different dads. Wow. That's quite the feat. <laughs> so do you have to create all those characters then? You have to create like, um, a hundred different dads. Super fun and challenging. Very chaotic. I imagine so. Wow. Just need to have babies with a different person each time. Wow. That is... That does sound very chaotic. Um, I hope you're... <laughs> I hope you're able to get some rest after that. Goodness. That sounds stressful. Alright. Did I... I might not have fully explored this area over here. Is there another... Not another level. Okay. There's some ghost matter right over there and out over here. Okay, so what's over here? Anything? There's some artifacts, but they are not doing so hot. Oh, God. I'm stuck. Woo! Okay, almost died. Oh, there's an artifact. Okay. Okay. Got a couple artifacts in here. 100 dads and me. <laughs> This sounds amazing, though. It's it's so much fun. It's so much fun. Uh, I'm trying. We, we're trying to think of. Uh, is that one? 
That one's busted. Okay, but I think we found we found something important, and that is there's an artifact over here. Um, what 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 kind of games do we compare this to? It really is quite unique. Um, there are it, it's a very small universe. I actually can't show you the map right now, but it's a small universe. Um, and it's a time looping game, so it's kind of cool to uh, there's no real huge penalty you know like if you mess something up you can just restart the loop you know what i mean um it's it's pretty cool so it, i i do see some parallels to subnautica i i do um <clears throat> but i feel like it's more just in my maybe it's my experience uh with the game as opposed to the actual like gameplay um but yeah if you like i mean i i can definitely see some parallels subnautica if you if you ever played subnautica it's not as scary as subnautica Subnautica, I mean, honestly, there are some moments in that where, whew, pooped my pants, you know? You know what I'm saying? I pooped a little bit. And uh, this game, I haven't pooped as quite as much. Um, some, you know, some, of course, not as much. Um, it's not always been green like that. I don't feel like it has. Or has it? Yeah, it must be. Anyway, you can see there's a planet right over there that I'm looking at. Um, it's very cool. It's very cool. So I highly recommend it. Um, it used to be on Game Pass. It's not anymore. Um, but it's not a very expensive game, at least. So there's that. But um, crap. Uh, so McDucky, that was your clue, right? Was to check all the buildings closely. Um, was there? Uh, did I, uh, did I, I, I feel like I solved your little puzzle there. Do you, do you feel like I did or am I still not quite, it's not quite adequate. At the bat, it gives me Ark Survival Halo Rust vibes, kind of, but it looks good. That was me. That artifact is what I was pointing out. Okay. That's what I thought. All right. So I've got a solution then, um, for the next loop. So that will save me a little bit of time. That will save me a little bit of time. I had been near that area before, but maybe not in the building. It might have been what I was uh, missing. Um, I will say, too, so you guys are watching. Uh, this is DLC content, so um, downloadable content content. Um, this is DLC, so it is actually quite a bit different from the base game. Um, <clears throat> different, but similar, if that makes sense. There's a big difference, but, um, but it's also similar. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't really know how to explain it, but... Uh, yeah. If you decided to play through the base game, uh, you it would be a little while before you got to this point that I'm that I'm currently playing. Uh, uh, review straight from GameInformer.com. Poop myself less than in Subnautica. <laughs> exactly. You know, on the poop scale, it's 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 below Subnautica. On the poop scale, it's below Subnautica. But um, on other scales, it's about on par with Subnautica. Uh, in terms of, like, care and attention to detail, 100% on par with Subnautica. All right. Uh, so I was over there. I need to figure out. Okay. Hang on. Let's bring this bridge thing back. What is this? <gasps> oh. Was that? That wasn't the bridge thing. What was this? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> One out of five dookies. <laughs> Dookie's just such a funny word. <gasps> what does it mean? Did it... What did that just do? Did that set me up for another area? Love that downloadable uh, DLC content. Yeah, downloadable, downloadable content content. That lit up some of these torches here, I guess? I don't... It did not do what I expected it to, but... Uh, just that you don't have to go to the canyon and then come this way. Exactly, yeah. That'll save me some time for sure. For sure, for sure. Um, yeah, that, I mean, I lit up some candles, I guess. Um, hmm, okay. Yeah, that's not what I was expecting. Definitely not what I was expecting. Missed a prompt. Oh, where'd I miss? Oh, extinguish. Was that, was that what it was? Or was that for this? Interesting. Okay, so those were already lit. Is that what that was? 
I was thinking that it was going to extinguish the candle near me. Okay, that's interesting. <gasps> oh my gosh! It did the thing! Okay, so now these are connected. <gasps> yes. Okay, this is perfect. All right. So now... <gasps> This is incredible. All right, so now I need to, yes, yes. Okay, I need to go to the safest place. What was the safest place? Uh, I guess the reservoir. The reservoir is the safest one, right? Yeah, this is, this is my, that was my theory was that I need to find a way to connect the fireplaces. Uh, that was my theory at least. And it seems like that's a good theory. Hey, how you doing, Le? <laughs> how you doing, Lau? I was like, wait a minute, did I greet you? No, I get, uh, cause Lau and Lors, they're so close. How you doing? Uh, I'm doing pretty well, how about yourself? Doesn't matter how old a boy is, they will laugh at dookies? Oh, absolutely. How you doing, sleepy mama? Uh, it, let's see, if you get a game through Steam, which you had to download, and has, in theory, content, would that not be then can downloadable DLC content? I guess it would, right? I mean, I think so. I'll see myself out. You're good, Sequoia. <laughs> you're good, Sequoia. If you've heard any of the jokes that I've made, then uh, you know that you're you're definitely not ban worthy, my friend. I get banned from my own stream all the time. Uh, I mean, shoot, I wear socks and sandals, and I think uh, I don't think any of my mods appreciate that. Uh, so, yeah. So you're you're fine. You're you're good. You can call me Laura. Wait, really? So do we have, wait, so is, is Laura's Latte, is that also a, a Laura name? We have two Lauras? Back in the day, Dookie was only a Green Day album to me. Oh yeah, for sure. I don't know where I'm at. I have no idea. It's so difficult. Okay, I gotta, did it already happen? Oh, I guess I spent a lot of time looking around. Okay, no, I know exactly what I gotta do for this next loop. Uh, if I could get to the thing, I'd be fine, but I didn't make it in time. Wait, yes, I did. No! <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I was right there. I finally found out, though. Facts. Uh, still here, just lurking while I got some food? No worries. No worries. I seriously appreciate you bringing everybody by. And absolutely, take care of yourself. Get that food. So glad you're finally eating. Uh, I'm good. How are you finding this game? I'm really, really enjoying it a lot. I'm enjoying it a lot, Laura. Hope you in the chat are doing well. Doing really well. Doing really well. Lauren. Okay, so we have a Laura and a Lauren. <laughs> Nearly a Laura. Yeah, this is... Oh, man. I was so close. But now I've got... I think I've got everything I need. I feel like I do, right? So now I wonder... This is just a very technical, this is like a very technical speed run kind of thing. Is it spoopy yet? Oh my gosh, Quentin. I got scared pretty good earlier. I got scared pretty good earlier. Um, I ran into, uh, ran into one of the strangers, so. Tall blonde B? Did I say that right? Pierce. Appreciate the follow. This one's for you. Uh-oh. My tankard has runneth dry. Let me refill a little bit. This gave me, game gave me some involuntary yelling. I believe that. Okay, might crash into the stranger. It's fine. This is totally fine. So confused, but slowly getting hooked. It's, uh, it's... If you have access to it, I recommend it. Uh, here you go. Tall Blonde B, cheers. Thank you for that follow. Um, <clears throat> I will say this, like I said, this is DLC, so it is quite a bit different from the base game, but if at all possible, uh, it's been recommended to me and, uh, I think it's a, uh, it's good advice. Um, if you do decide to play it, try your best. Don't look up any guides. Uh, don't look up any help, that sort of thing. Um, cause you will have a ton of fun just meandering around. Did I learn anything that time? I didn't. Okay. All right, here we go. Why'd I go this way? 
Why'd I go this way? I just told myself I don't need to go this way. <laughs> uh, I'm stupid sometimes. Actually, more than sometimes, but you know. I literally just told myself, oh, I don't need to go that way anymore. Perfect. Cool. Uh, Miss part of the stream, what is your current goal in game? Find a way to connect fires. Exactly. That is 100%. Very, uh, very, uh, very well put. That's what I'm trying to do right meow. Go one little mini island over. Oh, crap. Can't push while I'm on it. Makes sense, but kind of also sucks. Oh, not the scout. Woo! Kind of got close to that matter right there. Okay. Just until I get the hang of this, I got to figure out where all it's at. Um, we're fine as long as I... Yep, right there and right back out. I think we're good. We go that way, right? Oh, did my platform still hang out for me? It did. Look at that. What a loyal platform. What a nice platform waiting for me like that. All right. Do -do -do -do. I think we got it. I think we're going to get it this time. I feel good. I'm feeling good. Uh, and that is definitely a good time-saving uh, tip right there that we had. So I don't have to go nearly as far. Platform deserves some extra treats today. <laughs> What a good platform. Good, uh, some scratches behind the ears, too. All right, we got this. We got this for sure. I got to do two things before I move on to the next fire. But then I'm set. Two small things. One of them is right off the bat. The other one, I got to remember how to get my way through the darkness a little bit. Uh, I guess it doesn't hurt to go ahead and light these uh, fires either. Little candles. Never hurts. Alright, so this is the first one. Oh. There's that. Okay, and then now I just gotta find my way through to that uh, stairway, uh, wherever it is. I will get there. The main thing is, uh, if I run into a dead end, I just need to turn around, that's all. I keep I kept trying to like explore like oh is there uh maybe if I go through here a little bit or uh, let's see was it right I'm gonna try to make a note of which directions I've gone yeah it's not it's not right at that area it must be left so we get to this candle and we go left Hmm, yep. Yep, yep. Can you find some grabby hands in that area? Uh, yes, I did. I sure did. Um, but I need to light this thing, right? Oh, wait, it wasn't this one, was it? Crap. It was that one. That's the one I need. Which did I have to walk? Yeah, I had to walk through here. Okay, so go past the first stairs into these trees over here and through this little door right here okay and then yeah this is the one i want to light right that right there that's what i want i'm pretty sure but maybe i don't need both of those i'm not really sure quickest way out of here though i figured out is just to do this all right that's the quickest way out all right, next fire. Here we go. I don't know if I need to do these sequentially. Se sequentially? Sequentially? I don't know if I need to do them sequentially or not. I feel like I do. Oh, that kind of hurt. We're going to find out. All right. Oop. A little flicker. A little flicker. Nothing to be too uh, concerned about just yet. Okay, 
Okay, I see a few leaks in the dam, but it doesn't look too bad just yet. Need to go hard right here. Hard right, hard right, hard right. Oh, we're good. Okay. More right. Okay, gonna do a little check here. I can't remember. Can't remember if I need to go this way or not, or uh, let's see. I remember which one I, I slept in the most or slept by the most. That was, uh, that was the, hmm, what was it? Uh, reservoir, right? The reservoir. All right. it's this, the Saturn thing is not always in the same area. Saturn. Definitely not Saturn. I don't know what it's called. But it has rings, so that's why I'm going with Saturn. All right, this one does eventually fail as well. I'm thinking I probably don't need to do this one. Uh, lights on the raft look like Lego blocks. That they do. Yeah, I thought that as well. All right, let's see if there's... I'm going to try to do this one relatively quickly. This one does not does not uh, collapse, like, or does not ruin my experience right away. Uh, but it's been a little bit since I've been over here. I'm sure there's something to connect. I feel like I'm going to have to do that in every, every one of these fires. Um, but maybe just connecting them is all I got to do to get... Uh, the alarm things to leave me alone. Maybe that's all I got to do. Ooh, what's this one? Oh, right, that added a whole nother building. So there's a dock. Okay. Uh, is there anything else I need to do on here? I don't think so. I'm going to go ahead and leave. I'm going to go ahead and leave. Unless, uh, okay. Maybe I, well. Wait a minute. What's that? Uh, I'm trying to remember if there was anything down there I could do. Uh, those those lights are down there. That's the thing. All right, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to do a quick check. Quick check. There's anything else? I can't remember. What's that up there? Oh, another cage thing. Okay. Hmm. There's a grabby guy here. This light just doesn't quite shine far enough. I think I'm going to go ahead and go back. Wasted a few precious seconds. Um. Whew, all right. Um, hopefully that was enough. We'll find out. Next fire. Um, so here we're in the cinder, cinder Isles. So we got to go to the reservoir now, right? I think that's it. Oh, uh, wait, was there one? There's one in the Hidden Gorge. Ah, crap. Okay, that's the one. That's the one I've slept at the most. That's the one I've slept at the most. Okay, so I need to... Let's see, how am I doing? Oh, not good on time. Not good at all. Running out of time. Hurry! What happens when you connect them? Uh, that I'm not sure of. Uh, I mean, connecting connecting is not really probably the right term. Uh, it's more of like, um, I'm trying to connect the world uh, on the other side of the fires, but you know, like the fires are different. So I kind of have to make sure. Uh-oh. Is that just the, the, the rushing water or? Crap, I missed it, didn't I? I think I just missed it. Yeah, I sure did. Son of a gun. Uh, Well, it is possible. I know it is still at least somewhat possible to traverse that area after the dam breaks, but that is rather unfortunate. I thought I was on the right path, and then that, that turn came up at the last second. Okay. Here's what I'll try to do then. I'll try to do it... I don't know that I'm be able to do it without it. I'm gonna try it anyway. I 
Here's where we get the Subnautica vibes. Deep dive in here. I might have messed it up. I feel like I probably did. This is a tough little, uh, tough little game, you know? I don't know, game is not the right, really the right word, but, uh, it's not easy. <laughs> Anglerfish num nums. All right, I also am not entirely sure how the, I feel like this one is the least affected by the dam breaking, so, okay. Yes. All right. I'm vaguely remembering this now. There might not be a platform for me to get here. That could be the problem. There might not be a platform for me to get from this one. At least not at this point. Uh, I've not solved the mystery on these guys. Yeah, there's something to do over there, but that's got to come from... Not sure how to get over there just yet. Okay. All right. Because that platform is not coming to me, is it? Yeah, crap. Somebody say red light. <laughs> red light. Oh, gosh, I hope not. Okay. Yeah. Well, son of a gun. Okay. I don't think that there's anything I can do over here. So, orange light. I'm going to go ahead and uh, hop in here. Is it okay to give a little nudge? Yeah, again, I, I trust your judgment on uh, on the nudges. I, I trust your, your judgments. So I'd say it's okay to give a little nudge. That they're so good at hiding secrets, they are. They really are. It's a, it's amazing. Um. Okay, I can make it back to this one, no problem. There's a raft. I'm gonna let me be able to make that jump though. Oh, so we might be okay. Crap, I keep doing that thing with my light. Well, might die. Try not to hit anything. There we go. Okay. Don't forget the logs can help you out on moving forward. There's more to explore there. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I know, and I need to do that. Uh, there's more for me to explore in the reservoir. Um, and what was the other one? Did it say the Cinder Isles? Was that the other one I need to explore more as well? Can't remember exactly, uh, but I will check that out. Out of my way, other rafts. I'm on a mission. So yeah, let me... Uh, okay, so there's the other tower. I did explore that one at least a little bit, but that one is probably not going to last too much longer. Let's go try to go back to the Hidden Gorge. That was the one I skipped. Yeah, it seems like they're less and less affected by time, uh, by, by, uh, time like the dam breaking. The further you go down the, the river, whatever you want to call it. So I'm trying to hit them up in order. Okay, hopefully I won't miss my turn this time. It came up, like, just so quick. Try to slow down a little bit. Yeah, so that basically makes sure you can't swim through it, right? Yeah, this is it. All right, here we go. Okay, so there is still a way to explore it. It's just kind of tough, if I recall. I, mean, I could be totally wrong on this. Is it that one? I want to get up there. Hopefully I guessed right. I really can't remember. It could have also been over in that corner. I think it might be that corner. There is a way across. I, I have been able to jump across on a jetpack before. But I just have to figure out which way that is. Uh, and I think I picked wrong. I think it's that right over there. Yep, all right. Okay. 
There is a way, though. I'd done this before. I could have sworn. Maybe it was that jump. I think it was this jump. Oh, uh, let's see. Wait, is this where I want to go? This is where I want to go. What's that over there? I don't remember. I'm going to go over here. Is there two? Are there two fires? Hang on a second. No, never mind. Hey, how you doing, Pierre? Watching and chilling in bed? Sounds good. Sounds good. Making some decent progress on this, uh, this loop, at least. Excuse me, at least I think so. Hard to really tell. I don't remember where I wake up for this one. I think this is the one by, like, across the, the bridge from the big house. I think. We're going to achievement to fill out the ship's log. One of the things I was missing on the vessel was picking up the broken warp core and trying to use it. Some of their, some of the there's more to explore can be frustrating. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that is, that is annoying. She's like, clearly, there's nothing I can do here. Okay, yes, I remember this. So now I can uh, I can work my way down to the river, I want to say, and then hop on a little uh, a little raft. Okay. Yeah, down uh, down over near there. If I can remember how to get all the way down there, that's the thing. I uh, it's been a while. It has been quite a while. A while. It's a long way down, too. Um, how do I get over there? Do I have to go all the way through that garden? Like I did. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll be okay. I'll be okay, I think. Um, or I could just jump down, I guess, and hope I don't die. I think I did that once, though, didn't I? Also, wasn't there something uh, I had to do... That's a door, right? I can't remember. There's another hand. There's a door there. Not all the missing ones are more to explore, just the more critical ones. Like, story critical. Teaching you, you know, things critical. So, yeah, the part that I kept messing up was the fact that I didn't go all the way through this area. Don't know what that sound means. Oh, wait. Crap. Forgot to forgot to light the thing. The thing. To use the scientific term. It's uh here we go. There's that. Okay. Oh, dang. The supernova music is already here. Oh, my gosh. These are so difficult. I mean, I did mess up, and I had to go all the way around again, so that's part of it. I feel like you got to get it just about perfect. Okay. There's this. Almost down to the raft, and I it's probably not going to help. I think I'm just out of time. The correct term is uh, thingamajig. Yeah, it's probably more uh, more scientific, isn't it? Okay, so, in theory, if I could make it over there, which I'm not going to be able to, I don't have enough time, um, I should be able to see some things now that I haven't been able to see before. So this area, uh, there's not really a... Uh, no, I, I did something over here, right? Basically, just going to be adding some extra stops along the way. 
know that there was anything really extra for me to explore over here. That platform was already there. Man, that is just tough. Tough. Okay, we'll check out the log this time. There might be something else I need to do before I use the campfire. Also, I don't know if the game is uh, being a jerk, making you, like, forcing you to rewatch it. Like, look how crappy this loop was. Look how terrible you did, you know? Oh, let's see. Oh, wow, that probe was kind of close again, wasn't it? Not super close, but kind of. Uh, you know my troublesome neighbors in the flat below me? It was someone from there peed outside the door of the girl opposite me this morning. Gross. Why? Okay, there's a question mark on this sealed vault. Um, found a strange vault wrapped in chains and marked with three glowing symbols. A slide reel from the river lowland showed a strange vault being closed and sealed with chains and a glowing symbol. Slide reel from the Cinderella showed a glowing symbol and chains appear around the strange vault. A slide reel from the Hidden Gorge showed a glowing symbol and chains appear around the strange vault. I think I have to use all three of those. Subterranean Lake. Uh, okay, so River Lowlands. Oh, I learned something. Found several ornate metal artifacts inside a workshop surrounded by ghost matter. Okay. So there's a secret passage. Light coming out of the vault gave me a vision of climbing a spiral staircase to a room near the top of a tower. Oh, right. I didn't. I never saw this one, did I? One of the stranger's inhabitants pointed out at a mural of the tower beneath a nighttime sky, then picked up an artifact and left the room. Sometime later, the lamps next to the mural went dark, revealing a secret passage. That, I have not figured out the response or the, the, the proper way to do that yet. Um, but right now, the only thing that says I need to solve more is Reservoir and Starlit Grove. Or Cove, not Grove. Starlit Cove. Um, well, at the bottom, but I assume I have to, there's more to explore after I figure out how to not be spotted all the time. Endless Canyon. Canyon. That's the one I saw the first time. Okay, so Reservoir. An enormous reservoir with wooden piers and buildings on both shores. I found a projection that shows the stranger moving beyond the reach of the supernova. Oh, that's right. That part. Okay. Shows the stranger moving beyond the reach of the supernova. That I could probably figure out, right? Neighbors like that, you're in trouble. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Oh, goodness. That's pretty great. Yeah, secret passage. This part here, I need to solve that one. I need to solve that. So, uh, shows the stranger's inhabitants opening a secret passage in a room, round room filled with lanterns and murals. I found that room. I know how to get there. The inhabitants are shown filing into three of these rooms throughout the stranger. Oh, wait. Hang on a second. That's not what I was reading. Um, yeah, this one. Okay. Spiral staircase to a room near the top of a tower. One of the stranger's inhabitants pointed at a mural of the tower beneath a nighttime sky, then picked up an artifact and left the room. Sometime later, the lamps next to the mural went dark, revealing a secret passage. Okay. Hey, how you doing, Black Scrubs? I am super enjoying the DLC. I am. I am, uh... It's been a heck of a, a brain teaser, though, let me tell you. Heck of a brain teaser. Oh, locked on that time. I'm going to try to explore. I'm trying to figure out what it what it wants me to figure out about the, uh, oops, about the reservoir. That's what I'm going to try to figure out. So, reservoir. Uh, yeah, that projection is pretty interesting. I wonder, uh, so I found that actually inside of the dam area, I thought, didn't I? It's tough. It is a good puzzle, right? This is, I feel like this is harder than any other puzzles in the game. It's just not a very big area, but it's, it's difficult. All right. There is a bit of a shortcut, so I'm going to use that to get to the reservoir quicker. Nice little uh, landing there. Just kind of smacked into the ground. All right. 
And hopefully I don't have that water glitch ever again. That was kind of obnoxious. All right. Reservoir. What more can I learn? I think I've visited all the buildings, but maybe I need to do it after the dam breaks. Maybe there's more to figure out after the dam breaks. Also, maybe I could look around in here once more. I've not figured out the solution for that, that map. There's definitely something else there. I'll show here what I mean. Can I? I think I tried reconnecting that at one point, but I cannot. <laughs> kind of bothers me. All these streams, because there are these. These are the types of games I'd never think or attempt to pick up myself, but still get to experience the journey. Nice, DJ. I'm glad you're finding some enjoyment there. What a lovely view. Wait, can I do anything with this area? I don't think I ever stood here before. Yeah, this right here, I need to solve this mystery. It's charging. This thing is doing some stuff. Okay. And I've seen it, uh, I think it's, I've seen this part be full, but not either of those two. I've not quite solved that issue yet, so. Mystique has joined me in bed. Aw, what a cutie. <laughs> what a little cuddle bug. Things are thinging. Love it when the things thing. Need to keep the thing up. Okay, anything else? I think that was pretty much it for this area. So that's back to the uh, elevator. So this is the top of the dam. The top of the dam. Top of the dam to ya. Hey, what's going on, John? Appreciate that one bit, my friend. The one gold coin. Hope you're having a good day today. Still love the name, still love it. Cracks me up every time, right? <laughs> uh. I've not probably explored this area as well as I could. I've been over here before, for sure. But I've not spent much time over here. Maybe I could spend more time. I was running into an invisible wall, but I wasn't. I just was hitting the ground and tripping on it. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, right. Okay. There's there's another little passageway kind of thing. Uh, well, whatever you want to call it. I don't. I don't know if it's a passageway, but another one of those little codes. Uh, over here, and I've not solved a single one of those. I feel like a big dummy. Not done a single one. I feel like I should have been able to. Okay. I feel like that's why the reservoir is not fully explored. I could be wrong. Could be something else involved, but that to me seems like what I'm currently missing out on. We'll double check. Maybe there's a slideshow I missed or something. The heck is that? Oh, okay. Whew. Saw something bright outside, but turns out it's not important. You know what? Maybe I've not explored this area when the water goes away. Maybe that's the problem. I explored that side pretty well when the water disappeared, but but maybe not this side. There's some sunken stuff. Maybe I don't need to wait, though. Got a good amount of oxygen, you know? Hmm. Maybe I do need to wait. It's pretty deep. This game is uh, really trying to get me to Subnautica it up, I guess. Seeing much down here, though.
not seeing much. All right, let's try to go. Yeah. Is that the quantum moon? Or is that Giant's Deep? Is this thing really that close to Giant's Deep right now? Also, I need to understand what the heck these green things mean. I've not figured that out. That must be Giant's Deep. It looks so weird over here, though. Okay. Maybe I can explore down in here. Oh, wait, wait. There's a doorway to nothing. Okay. There's a little uh, archway here. I mean, eat your vegetables. <laughs> Um, hmm. Probably should eat more vegetables, if I'm being honest. If we're being honest with ourselves, I should probably eat some more vegetables. Okay, does this... Hmm. I don't see anything else down here. Okay, let's try to go back over here. Maybe I've learned something since the last time I was here. I don't think I... I don't know if I can make this jump. Oh, oh, hang on. Nope, not quite. Okay. Not there. Maybe somewhere else I could do that? Maybe on this? That rock is too low, actually. Interesting. Oh, yeah, there's land right here. Okay. All right, so... Let's try to cross the bridge over here. And there was something over here. I just don't remember. I think it's one of those puzzles. Yeah. This puzzle here. I've not really even messed around with those much because I don't really know what they do. Okay. And then wasn't there something down here too? Something I could launch my scout into? Yeah, the other side of that door, it seems like. Oh my gosh! <gasps> it's the key! Oh my goodness, I missed that! Hang on, let me, let me get a better shot in that. Mild excite! <laughs> Can I shoot it a little further over? That might be a little better. Yes, alright. Wowzers. That is new. A key, unreal. Be sure to drink your Ovaltine. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Oh, hang on. I guess I can't look at it at the same time. Okay, so we got a sun at the top. Sun at the top. All right. Uh, let me take a. Okay, sun. Um, we'll go with eclipse, fire, eclipse, fire. I don't know what those are actually. So, uh, eclipse thing, fire, eclipse thing, fire. <gasps> Oh my gosh, the things have thinged. Screenshots are fun, that's true. I could have could have screenshotted it. But then you guys wouldn't hear me get to call the weird symbols whatever I want to call them. Okay, all right. So here is a thing. I saw one of these things before. Actually, on the other side, uh, over there. Oh! Ship log updated. All right, what do we got here? This is a no-go. Um... Oh, wait. Okay, hang on a second. Hmm. Okay. It's telling me not to... There's certain ways it shouldn't be turned, like every other way. Uh, okay. I don't fully understand that. But maybe my ship log will help me with that. Wow. Okay, so I finally figured out one of those, though. And this one is not helping. It's all crusty and stuff. Look at it. Look how crusty this is. I just thought it looked like a VR mask. Legit thought it was a diagram of an electric guitar. <laughs> this thing here? <laughs> all right. Is there anything in this tiny room to see? Not really. Not really. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Diagram of an electric electric guitar. 
All right, so that might be what I was missing from the reservoir then. Uh, that might be it. Uh, maybe I should yeet myself over on the other side, or maybe I just go ahead and meditate right now. Yeah, that's about to that's about to break right there. So, let's uh let's go ahead and meditate. What do we? What, I think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I didn't really do anything other than just learn stuff, so it's not like I'm undoing any progress. <laughs> Les Paul's design. I see it. <laughs> I mean, I'll, we'll go with it. Oh, crap, my friends. I just realized the time. Dang it. I think, uh... Yeah. yeah, I have that. I have a meeting. Son of a gun. Make sure it wasn't canceled. Yeah, it wasn't canceled. Well... Double checking, but uh, yeah, meeting was not canceled, so I got a meeting here soon. Um, before we call it quits for the day, uh, let me go take a look at the log and see what we can what we can uncover. Um, and uh, I, I don't normally raid on Wednesdays, but um, because I was raided, we'll try to find somebody to to pay it forward to. Um, Kirk might be on. We might we might see who's on. Kirk's on. I'll try to throw him some love. There's still more to explore. Found a room with a burn control interface and a projection that seems to indicate a broken connection between the stranger and another craft. Uh-oh. Another craft. Okay. But there's still more to explore in the reservoir. Maybe I should have uh, went on the other side. Okay. Also, a couple of those puzzles, though. I need to figure those out. There, uh, there are others. A Lovecraft. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and uh, meditate once more since I've uncovered that in the journal. I don't know if that actually matters for that. Um, uh, I don't know what note to make for myself. Um, do I tell myself, should I tell myself to continue exploring the reservoir? I'll just write down reservoir. Exclamation point and circle it. There we go. Reservoir. All right. My friends. Oh! Did you see that? The probe just went right through like the tower. It didn't hit my ship, but I actually probably could have got hit by it if I had tried. If I had been paying attention. <laughs> oh, that's kind of one of my goals right now. I want to be able to just get wrecked by the probe. Wait a minute. Don't take that out of context, all right? I'm trusting you all not to take that one out of context. All right, my friends. Oh, let's head to the tavern. Let's head to the tavern. I gotta, I gotta end this stream, unfortunately. <laughs> Pog. <laughs> Continue exploring. There's more to explore there. Yeah, for sure. That should definitely be the uh, the hint of the day. Um, that. Ah, Kirk is not online. At least not yet. Okay. Probes can bring fun wrecks. <laughs> OMG loots. Uh, more reservoir exploration. Give yourself a positive affirmation while you're at it. You deserve it. I can do this. I can do this. Let me get out some thank yous today. Um, and then we'll, uh, we'll roll on the fun train onto somebody else. Um, we got John gives one bit who cheered one bit. Imagine that. Appreciate that, John. Uh, we also had Coleman Octane Pierre hanging out today. Let's appreciate my mod squad. We can follow us from Ta Tall Blonde B, Shea Seaweed Shay, Mighty Mock, and Giant Sequoia. Uh, resub from My Michelle, the host from Mellow Mayhem. A raid from Lore's Latte. And always want to thank our Kofi members, Coleman, Iron, Build a potato, freshly bathed, coral cat bug, nidalicious, and spooky deer. Much appreciated, my friends. Um, I will catch you all tomorrow. Let's see, uh, who can we raid then? Who can we raid? We can raid somebody. Somebody else playing Outer Wilds? Uh, I don't like to, you don't usually like to raid somebody new, but um, I don't want to raid somebody new. I got to go to this meeting like right away. So, hmm, is there somebody I've. Got on here. A nice first time I get to watch the end of the stream. Is that right? Good to have you in here today, Sleepy Mama. Um, 
Oh, crap. You know what? We'll raid somebody tomorrow. All right. I uh, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this improperly. Uh, we'll pay. We'll pay Lures Latte's raid on tomorrow, um, and we'll see who's on. Uh, my friends, I hope you have an amazing rest of your Wednesday. Um, we'll be back tomorrow with some more Outer Wilds DLC. Until then, take care of yourselves. Be safe out there. I will catch you real soon. Take care, everybody. Bye.